Hey guys, so we thought it would be really interesting and fitting since we're in Sri Lanka to do a video sort of focused around the food because obviously we love it as you have probably seen from other videos. We wanted to do this video kind of as a reference but also to give you the chance to be able to cook like Patma in the kitchen. Before when we first got here and Patma had cooked for us the first few times, we were like trading off between the kids so we can watch to see how she was doing it because we wanted to cook it by ourselves. Never tastes as good. But anyway, so we thought we'd just do a video and then we can have it at our fingertips, at your fingertips, and yeah. So Patma's made us loads of different options, but we thought we'd highlight three of our favorites. Pumpkin curry, which is definitely my favorite. Potato curry, which is definitely George's favorite. And the brinjal, which is like an eggplant mixture, different than the other curries, that's definitely Sean's favorite. And even George crushed it last time, actually. So anyways, here it is, so I hope you're taking notes. And I mean, if you're not, you can just look at this video like we will, whenever you want. Okay, off to meet Patma right now for a veggie run. We just made our first stop at the market in town, which is where we come for our veggies too. Except usually we go over there and they've come to this spot, so we're gonna we're gonna see like a new scene. But it's kind of raining, so I gotta be careful here. And here's Patma. Hi. Say hi Patma. <laughs> She's gonna do all our shopping for us. This lotus? Yeah, okay, lotus. Yeah, yeah 500 grams yeah. good, yeah. This is George's favorite, yeah, right? Good. Here's the shop. This is like pretty much typical shop everywhere in town, everywhere we go. What's that green? This, this big thing. This, okay. Gourd? Yes, good Gourd? Okay. Georgie really loves this. It this looks one? like long cucumber. Yeah. Oh, fringe mm. Hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at the eggplants oh, here. They're so small. These are the little lime things. I I'm forget kefir lime maybe. These are really really good. Kind of crunchy. How come I'm you? Why you come this shop? Is good shop? Yes. You know the yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Yes. Ah, even when you live over there, you still come yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. trying to decide if we have enough. Usually when we ask Patma to cook for us, we say cook for like two days because we want dinner tonight and it's always good to have leftovers the next day because curry, anything leftovers, pizza, spaghetti, and even curry cold is amazing. So we hope to have some lunch for tomorrow too. Holy, how many kilos? Wow, look at that. So this is everything, all the vegetables we got, this is the receipt they give. So that's about, I'll put the math below, but maybe like seven bucks or something for all that. Next up, Food City. Okay, so this is Food City. I think you guys have seen it in another vlog when we went to Marissa. This is like the local grocery store chain that's around everywhere. We will come here for maybe uh, like spices, salt, coconut, no not coconut milk. Just like the additives that we would put inside, little garnishing. So I'm not gonna bring the vlog or the camera in there because I don't think they like cameras inside. Okay, we're back home now. Let's see where she is. Everybody playing? Oh, hi, Dishna. Hello. Hey. They're still just jumping. How many kilo you think? Oh, I don't know, like. Oh, is that the rain? Yeah. No way, what timing? Six kilo? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There's some fat. So this is the food run from Food City. Ketchup, 
couple coconut milks. Curry powder. Goraka. Yeah. Goraka. <laughs> Some salt. And turmeric. Yeah. Look at all the veggies. Mm. This is wild. Our veggie intake since being here has increased for sure. Probably even less fruit, more veg. Just because we eat so much curry. Okay, so pumpkin curry. First off, you chop up the pumpkin in cubes or any shape you like, making sure you remove the skin first and then place them in a large pot. Now you start adding your flavors. One to two crushed cinnamon sticks, one heaping tablespoon of curry, one tablespoon of mustard, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of salt, half a red onion, five to six crushed garlic cubes, a quarter cup of curry leaves, which is optional, we don't always have those. Also, you can add fenugreek seed, it's optional, but it goes well with root style veggie curries. Then add in half a cup of coconut milk and mix it around to marinate, which is about 15 minutes. Now it's ready to cook. You place the pot on high heat and start stirring. Gradually you add in more coconut milk to your desired thickness, which is about another half a cup, but it all depends on how much pumpkin you're cooking. So you see this little leaf here? This is not something that we would have in like North America or Europe. This plant grows here. Showed in another video, right there in the garden. So they rip from that and put it in the, the curry for flavor. You don't really eat it, maybe you do. But they said if you don't have that, so we don't, it's probably really hard to get back home, use curry leaves, if you can get curry leaves. I don't know. I'm sure you can. I've never looked for them, but uh, that would be the substitute. Hey, look who's here. Yeah. You wanna come help? Yeah. Okay, do you know George's favorite? Which one? Lotus. That's what's cooking right now, Lotus. What is she cutting right now, Georgie? What's it called? Eggplant. Yeah. Potato curry, Georgie's favorite. With the potato curry, it's pretty much the same as the pumpkin curry. You just make sure you pre-boil the potatoes first. You grab a large pot big enough for all of your potatoes, give it a quick wash, and start the boiling process until they're soft. You add in a little turmeric to the water as well. In a separate pot, you place the same ingredients as a pumpkin, unless you prefer to change it up a bit, maybe adding some cumin or some cardamom. Usually we eliminate the onions and the curry as George isn't a fan. Then you mix it all up to marinate it and you start to cook it on high heat, adding the coconut milk until desired thickness. Maybe like carrot? I like, I know, like this carrot, I like raw carrot. Ah, uh, she yeah. like raw. I like, I, I like um, the taste of crunchy. For the crunchy, okay. Oh, Georgie, do you like curry better or do you like pad thai better? Pad thai. Pad thai? So Thai food's still your favorite? What, what happened to your arm last time? Uh, so do <laughs> Did it burn? You like cooking, Patma? Yes. You love? Yes. We always say she has to open restaurant. <laughs> she, she should open restaurant. You would be the best in town. Oh, here's this one. I want to show. Very strong. <laughs> hey, buddy. Are you protecting us right now? Are you protecting us right now? Yes, you are. Eh? Make sure there's no snakes in here. So this is how she's making natural coconut milk. This is just coconut meat shavings. And how much water? One cup? Uh, two cup. Two uh, cup of water, yeah. okay. Yeah. And just mix, yeah. mix, yeah. mix, mix. Yeah. It's so smart. No and salt? No, 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 no. only okay. water. And then you're straining it into here. So simple, there's coconut milk, natural. That I mean. You don't need to buy this stuff. They just have to buy the coconuts in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> so simple. Just grow a coconut tree back home and Bye. you're gold. Okay, now Sean's favorite and sort of Georgie's too now. And arguably the leader of the flavor category, the brindle. First, you get a large pot and you pour two cups of oil in depending on how much eggplant you're cooking. You want the eggplant to be floating in the oil like a deep fryer, super healthy. Once the eggplant is washed, you start to cut it in cubes or quarter strips and place it in a separate pot. Once it's all chopped, you add in the teaspoon of turmeric and toss it together to give them a light orange coating. Once that's done, you can start adding the strips of eggplant to the oil, deep frying them until they're crispy brown for about 15 to 20 minutes. When it's finished, you remove them and put them on a plate to cool. While that's going on, you can prepare the sauce. 
The first step is to grab a separate pot and throw in one cup of whole shallots, 10 whole green chilies, and half a bulb of garlic cloves. Now grab a small bowl or in a mini blender, chop up a one inch by one inch cube of ginger, the other half of the bulb of garlic, and then add in a cinnamon stick. Make sure it's finely chopped or crushed. Now using the same pot you cooked the eggplant in, just pour out the oil. Now add in half a cup of coconut water, vinegar, or apple cider would work too. Then add in the onion garlic chili mix with a pinch of salt. Cook for another minute and then add in all the eggplant. Stir it for another minute or so and then start adding in the rest, starting with half a cup of brown sugar, then half a bottle of ketchup, about one cup. Once the eggplant and pepper mix is all coated, start to add in the garlic, ginger, and cinnamon mixture, and you keep stirring until it's all combined. And then, voila, you have brinjal. Today she's doing something, what's the name of this one? Mal oh, Malu. Malu. Oh, yeah, it's good. That's really good. Maybe even Georgia like too. Actually, Georgia likes all the sambal. Maybe like it. And then she, in this one, she adds um, many things I'll put below. I can't remember right now. But she added this, this black goraka. Goraka. I think that's exactly how it translates in, into English is goraka. We had a fresh, it's a fruit. We had it fresh at their house like a week ago, which is pretty good, bitter. But I, this is the dried version that I want Jazz to try. Hi. Hi. Try this. This is the fruit that we ate at Patma's the other day. Yeah. The red one. Yeah, yeah. Dried version though. I'm trying to punch. It tastes like tamarind. Kind of, but a, almost like a saltier version. It's good. Yeah? It's sour, but it's good. You, once you get through the sour, you'll enjoy it. Take a bite. You don't have to eat the whole thing. It tastes like tamarind. It tastes really like good. tamarind, yeah. Like tamarind. Tamarind's that brown stuff. I'm not sure if you tried it before. Yeah, remember yeah, it has it black seeds in it. It was in the fridge all bunched up. It was really sour. Do you want to try Lake? Yeah. Give Lake a little lick, Dorji. Watch her face. Is it good? You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Too big. I'll draw the biggest. You like the Koraka? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. you like it? Give me more. Do you want, want some? more? Yum. Yum. Chew that first. Marker. That's the smoke. Dad, you need to guess what you're drawing. What are you drawing? Don't, don't tell him, don't you guess, Dad. This is a new book, so he doesn't know what it's about yet. A wormhole. No, guess again. Give him one clue. Point to something and show him what it is. What's that? Sun. The sun. Sun. A whirlpool. Sun. Oh, the planets. Yeah. The solar system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Like Jupiter in that? What planet's this sun? The biggest plant. And what's it called? My. What's the red one? Jupiter. Yeah. Excuse me, that's not sambal. No, that's <laughs> not curry. Nick took Sessa's shoes. Oh, she wants to wear his shoes Nick, all the time. where's your shoes? Where's your shoes? These are shoes. You, you want these ones too? Okay. Blake, you dance? Show daddy your dance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> daddy. Good girl. Good girl. Baby. Nalu. You love Nalu? Give him a hug, kisses. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you want on your plate. I want your chairs, green bean, and some of, and some of that. You want oh, the brinjal? You want the brinji. Okay. Good job, Mama. Thank you so much. Uh, High five. Yeah, it was awesome. She like like. She really ah, likes it. Yeah, good. She just grabbed it. What? It's good avocado. Ah. Ah. <laughs>
Bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye Pat Ma. Bye bye, bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so often we get asked how we've got George to eat so many veggies or a variety of foods or basically about her eating or how to get their kid to eat more veggies. Honestly, like until she was about two years old, she hadn't eaten anything processed at all. Like, nothing from a package. We never added salt, we never added like a bunch of sauce. She ate a whole food, plant-based diet completely. For example, like when she was, I remember being in Vietnam and she lived on broccoli. We cut up bok choy and just steam it with water. Um, fruits and vegetables galore. She ate so many smoothies and we just never introduced her to sugar. We never walked into a 7-Eleven and bought her a lollipop for her first birthday. We didn't give her birthday cake, we gave her a fruit cake. And until now, she just doesn't know any better. To this day, she'll walk into a 7-Eleven and not know, she doesn't know what a lollipop is. To give you an example, even I was surprised by this the other day. We were eating at a restaurant and we got this sandwich and it, I, I didn't realize it came with fries. I thought it had a side salad with it. It had both, but the fries got in, like to our table in front of us and George looked at the fries and she said what are those and I was like wow She doesn't even know what these french fries are because she's never had them and they were like the McDonald's looking fries She's had like potato wedges before and even Sean and I were like wow She's never had these and she's almost four years old and I've, I know in our life a few people have said really like you're She's never gonna go to McDonald's or really blah 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 and the truth is I wouldn't take her to one We've gone to a couple of birthday parties here and I just make her her own cake and she's totally satisfied with it And even now how she eats we're of course a little bit more lenient in terms of just like adding sauce And she eats a bit of oil here and there and like we don't pile anything we cook with salt But oftentimes she just wants something very basic she likes a lot of things like she she eats a lot of things, but she's also a very plain eater. Like some people would come and have our cooking and be like, can I have a pound of salt please? Like there are the kid, these kids here the other day, our neighbor's kids, and I cooked like this rice noodles with like this cheesy vegan sauce. And Georgia was just like crushing hers and they all came out. They're like, do you have salt? And Sean saw them, they grabbed like a handful of salt and piled it on. I don't know if that's a testament to what they're used to or to my cooking, but Georgia's like happily mowing down on it. If we make her a cake or something, she's satisfied with like a few bites and then that's it. I'm sort of blabbing, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I just don't think she really has a palate for it. The easiest way I can describe it is examples. Like we'll make spaghetti with sauce and we'll put like bok choy in it and she'll eat all of the bok choy and ask for more bok choy before she will she'll crush the pasta and sauce like she just loves it because that's all she knows she loves vegetables and fruit and every day she'll have a cucumber tomato salad with just lime on it i'm just giving examples but the truth is if you don't give it to them they won't want it because they won't know what it is and that's what we did with George and what we'll do with Lake. If you introduce these substances like sugar and salt so early, they're like super addictive as we know. I prefer fries over bok choy any day. If you don't introduce it, she won't have to make that choice and then you won't be struggling to get them to eat a vegetable when they've had a fry. You know what I mean? Like, and she hasn't suffered because she didn't have a frosted birthday cake for her first birthday and hasn't been to McDonald's. She, I think she's doing okay and she just loves her veggies because of it. I guess we'll have done our best at that point to give her little body a good start and give her all the good things while we can, but as of now, she's still, she's still a little veggie master. Thank goodness. I think that's it. Okay, bye.